My research centers on developing very efficient algorithms. The notion of algorithms and their importance is by now part of our everyday life. Algorithms are used everywhere, from search engines on the internet to medical applications. In order to illustrate what I mean by very efficient algorithms, I'll give an example. Suppose I have a group of people where some of them know each other and some don't. I represent this by a network. People are nodes, and if two people know each other, I put a connecting link between them. Given this network, I want to determine whether I can partition the people into two groups so that within each group, everyone knows each other. For this small network, it's easily done. I have a green group and a red group. But can I solve this problem on any given network? The answer is positive. There's a classic algorithm that solves the problem efficiently for any given network. Yet sometimes we need to deal with huge networks, in which case classic efficiency is just not good enough. In order to be very efficient, I'll relax the problem. Instead of requiring that everyone knows everyone in their group, I'll just ask that, say, 99% of the people know 99% of the people in their group. In addition, I'll use randomization. The idea of the algorithm is simple. We take a small sample of people from the huge network and find who knows whom amongst them. We then try to partition this small sample into two well-acquainted groups by running the classic algorithm on the sample. This is actually a general paradigm. Instead of computing something precisely on the entire large data set, we compute something approximately by using a small random sample. Indeed, this sounds natural, as we use sampling in various contexts, such as election polls and quality testing of products. However, the challenge is in proving rigorously that the algorithm works, which requires mathematical reasoning and tools. By proving correctness, we ensure that the algorithm not only works well on one particular type of network, but rather on all possible networks. Therefore, it can serve as a basis for different real-world applications on social networks, biological networks, and other networks that may arise in the future.